morning, Larry. Good morning. Good morning, boys and girls. Hi. Larry, today I want to talk about something that's important for all boys and girls. Now, I know you travel. Food. Yes, food is your ultimate favorite yeah. and highlight. Yeah. But there's something important we need to talk about. Not food. More food. And uh, no, we need to talk about road safety. I can't drive. Yes, you can't drive, but you do jump out of the car to, to go to school, am I right? Yeah. Yes. So we need to talk about road safety. Ah. Yes, but especially today, Larry, you are very fortunate because you go to school by car. Yeah. Uh, but there are some children who travel with public transport. Then there are some children who walk to school. Uh -huh. Yes. And when you walk to school... You don't do PE. Uh, no, you have to do... What? PE as well. You have to do your sport. I know you have been bunking sport. Maybe. Your mom was telling me about that. Yes. But just remember... When we are walking to school, we walk on the road. Yeah. And what do you see on the road as well? Cars. Yes, cars. Now, sometimes you see children running across the road or not walking on the pavement. They do think they're cars. <laughs> yes. Uh, do you know what a pavement is? Yes. Yes. What is it, Larry? It's a thing mm -hmm. on the side of the road. Okay, it's a part of the road, but it's on the side, and it's exclusively for pedestrians. Exclusively. Yes, it's only for the people who walk. Ah, right? They that's are cool. called pedestrians. Pedestrians. Yes. So the, the, the main road where the cars go, that is for the cars, and the pavement is for the pedestrian. So... Children should always be walking on the side of the road and not in the middle of the road. What if I need to get to the other side, like okay. the chicken? <laughs> yes, that's your sister's favorite joke, isn't it? Yeah. So, yes. Now, if you want to cross, now, I know that you learned this in school al already, Larry, so let's test your memory. When you have to cross the road, what do you have to do? You have to look right, yes. left, and right again. And if it is safe, then you would walk briskly across the road. Ah. Yes. What, does, what is your understanding of briskly? Brusely. No. Briskly is... Hiya. <laughs> you don't run across the road. You walk at a steady pace, which means you don't walk like a snail across the road. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, because these cars uh, uh, that are, are going to pass by. So you be very alert and you walk, get onto the other side as quick as possible. I can do that. Yes. So let's go through that again for the boys and girls. How do you cross the road, uh, Larry? You look mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. left, yes, right again, yes, and, and then you walk brusquely across the road. If you cannot see any cars passing by. Yeah. Okay. Very good, Larry. It's not Bruce Lee, but Brisk Lee. Bruce Lee. Right. Okay. Hi <laughs> Larry, let's talk about the colors of the robot. Okay. Right. My favorite robot is Iron Man. No, not... He's orange and red. No, no. I'm talking about the robot. The one from, from Iron, Iron Giant. Okay, let me say traffic light. I like silver robots. Right. The traffic light, uh, Larry, there are three colors. Okay. Red, yeah. orange, yeah. and green. Okay. What do you think red uh, means? Stop. Stop. Very good. Orange. Be careful. Okay, and get ready. And green. Like go, me. go, go, go. So whenever you see a color like Larry, it means go. Then we should not be playing or running where there is traffic. Isn't that so? Yeah. Larry, and when you jump out of a vehicle like you, uh -huh. don't just run because you can see Zoe on the other side of the road. You always check on either side to see if there are any passing vehicles. So that is how we are going to be safe 
all the time, Larry. Okay. Okay. Let's say bye to the boys and girls. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye.